Hello everyone. I wanted to make this video to help inform people when they were searching for a, an elite cooler and also how to determine how many Arctic ice packs would fit in a cooler. Because when I was researching online and on YouTube for videos uh, for Yeti coolers, Pelican coolers, etc., most of the reviews were about the actual cooler and how durable it was, um, how thick the walls were, what type of uh, retention system it had, and also how long it would retain ice. You know, if it had drinks in it or just simply ice, how many days it would last, which is fine. And I found those informative, but what I was looking for is a more specific uh, video or information on the actual size and how many Arctic ice packs would fit in the cooler because uh, my plan was to use the Arctic ice packs for camping because I didn't want to go out and get ice all the time and I didn't want the mess of the ice and the water in the bottom of the cooler, mixing up with the food and things like that. So I found it rather difficult to find specific videos on that. And they had Arctic ice cooler videos, which were helpful, but I wanted something that actually showed, you know, how many of these packs would fit in a cooler along with some food. So that's the purpose of this video. These pictures will show how many Arctic ice packs fit in this 30-quart cooler. And I have uh, four Chill and Brew Arctic ice packs and two Alaskan series ice packs. As you can see, you can fit about eight cans of beer, soda, whatever you want, across the bottom. And then if you stack them up, obviously you get double that. Uh, and the top will still close. Bottles will stand upright. You can fit one large and one medium size Arctic ice pack in the bottom. And what I did was I pre-chilled this cooler before a trip using some frozen bottles of water. And I put them in there uh, a couple days before I left, which in retrospect, was a little bit of a mistake. I should have only used uh, the bottles in there for one day. Okay, it's been almost a day since I put these bottles in the cooler to uh, pre-cool it. So let's see what the temperature is. And it's right at uh, 40 degrees. And the bottles yeah, they still got quite a bit of ice in them, so we'll just keep them in there until we go camping this weekend, and I'll check back again tomorrow, see what the temperature is again, okay? So, now it's two days since we put the bottles in to pre-chill the cooler, so we'll check it out, see what the temperature is now. And it is still at 40, maybe just a little bit more than 40, 42 maybe. And the bottles, just a little bit of water, just I mean just a little bit of ice left in it. So we're going to be packing up tomorrow morning, so I'm just going to leave them in. And uh, I'll take some videos or pictures tomorrow of how, we, how I'm going to pack this, okay? Well, here we are. It's the morning that we're going to camp. I'm just going to check this cooler one more time. See what the temperature was, or it's what it is now. It's, yeah, it's gone up to almost 45 degrees now. These bottles are just water. And in retrospect, I should have put these in only, you know, a day and a half before we left in that, not two and a half days. But 45 degrees is still colder than the room temperature 70 degrees.
it's almost the end of end of day one and temperature on here I just read it before I opened this I mean I opened this before it was about 35 degrees all right it is now about 36 hours after we loaded this thing up and let me see if I can find the thermometer fell down in here somewhere earlier today. There it is. Yeah. Ah, come on. Alright, see what it says. It was down in the bottom and it says about 38 degrees. So it's still keeping things nice and cold. Put the stuff back in place here. Okay. Uh, so so far so good. Okay. Forty-eight hours. It says 40, 41 degrees right now. That's the, it was sitting uh, right in the, about the middle of the uh, cooler. Two and a half days since we started our trip, and today this cooler was left in the truck when it was in the mid 90s. So inside it was well over 100 degrees for probably about six hours. Uh, I checked this a little while ago and it was about 42 degrees and it still says yeah 42 43 so it's pretty impressive actually um, I thought it was going to be actually a lot warmer than that when we checked it but and I thought we might have to put some get some bags of ice for it but uh, no it was still good so that's impressive. Okay, day three. Uh, yesterday was very, very hot, and I had to already dig in here and get this thermometer out, and which it reads 45, 46 degrees. So it's getting up there a little bit warm now, but um, we're heading home today, so it served its purpose and it did keep things cold. Uh, some of the things, yeah, they're still cold enough, but. Good thing we're going home today. So we just got back three and a half days. Ran yesterday about six hours in over 100 degree heat inside the truck. And my daughter just read the thermometer. It was 50 something. It's at the bottom here. Yeah, 50 degrees. So things are still kind of cold though. I don't think the cheese went bad or things like that. So overall very impressed with the uh, Arctic ice packs and the cooler itself, especially since I made a mistake of leaving it in the car or leaving it in the truck when it was over 100 degrees. So I'll write up some more after this uh, little video here. So, in summary, is this setup worth it? I think so, uh, because you never have to buy ice ever again. This cooler and these ice packs should last forever. They definitely will work for a, a you know a day trip or a weekend trip for camping or to the beach, and that's regardless of the time of year. However, if you're planning to camp or do an overlanding trip in the middle of the summer for a whole entire week or longer, then no, I don't think this setup would last that long. You would still need to buy an additional ice packs uh, after four or five days. If you are going to be camping in the spring or fall when the temperatures are cooler, and maybe the highs are only in the 60s and the lows are down in the 40s or maybe 30s, then this setup would work fine for at least a week and you wouldn't have to buy, bother buying any other ice. 
if your plans are more long term, you know, several weeks or months, then obviously you, you need to buy a dedicated refrigerator that hooks up to an external battery, such as an ARB refrigerator or a National Luna or something like that. But if uh, your budget doesn't allow you to have a refrigerator, then this system just works great.